light at the start as we're expecting, just this movement on the boat, just keep it very gentle, very soft. If we can get out of the Solent in a good position, I we'll probably keep that position. It's, one of, it's going to be one of those races, I think. The course is a very simple one for an offshore race. It's uh, eastwards out of the Solent um, and then straight across the channel to Deauville. I think it's one of those races you can't really tell. We could, according to Glenn, see quite a bit of wind later and it would be slow in the evening. Uh, hopefully it will be a, a straight line dash and we'll be there in time for breakfast. Yeah, on that day we have to go back to the street. 90 seconds. OK, ready for this noise. One minute. 20 seconds. 30 metres. Slightly. Go! We think there might be more wind on the right, Glenn. Happy? Well, the, the, yeah, the main issue with the weather, of course, is that's what's driving us along. So that's showing us a high pressure off Falmouth at the moment, which would fit with... doesn't really fit with what we can see now, actually. Well, there's, 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 what's the slightly different? There's also the wind now. And I think this is a local effect for you to have done. Okay. I would say outside, uh, that's 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 oh! Whoa, 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 whoa! Well, hoist number one, then we're going to dump the code zero down the hatch. On someone's street, can they put the outable back on, please? Bloody hell, eight knots. Two coffees. Anybody want a black coffee? How's it, how's it working with a different helm on now? Now Jane settled down, we're a bit more constant in direction, so speed's good. Yeah, looking good. Not too high with this now, Jane. If you have to go, if you have to go, go a bit low, don't worry. How's that feel, Jane? Yeah, it's cool. Cool. Flopping around the whole time, I feel. Degrees. No, I never believe the computer. But if I believe anybody, I tend to believe the Frenchman, however annoying it that might be. <laughs> okay, let's hoist it. One minute, ten seconds it took to complete that rock. There's a fucking chaser all over and still not get there. I'm at 74. How do you feel when the weather's like this? Oh, it's rather nice. It's been plodding along. When the breeze is in, it's we seem to be making nice progress. I get panicky when the breeze goes down. Am I doing the right thing? Are we going the right way? We're expecting the wind to, to go very, very soggy. Optimistic, but then I'm always optimistic. <laughs> I think that breeze is gonna uh, veer, 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 and we're gonna head it, and then it's gonna fill in lovely from the east. We're gonna tack, and then we're gonna end up fetching in 15 knots. Uh, 5.2 knots of uh, breeze and four and a half knots of boat speed. It's got it got quite chilly. Um, we had a little cuddle though, Will, because that warm spoke. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah I had, I had Jack lying on my lap. It was. Oh, very nice it's on the way. my hair, it was quite nice. Uh, <laughs> was that before it got cold? Uh, yeah, why not? <laughs> yeah. Well, it was all rather uncertain at, at uh, dusk. And we had various computers, models, but the one I trusted most with the, was the Meteor France one. 
and um, it's actually done almost exactly what the computer said it would do. With what you expected? Um, well, closing France with the sunshine is not that surprising. You get thermal effects and all sorts of horrible things. Uh, just a little bit of a drive as the breeze is up. It's the first chance I've had this trip. Sitting here quite happily at 7.98 knots. About six miles to go into Deauville. Job done. Disappointed to be quite so close to uh, our old rivals Puma, who obviously are very good, but we give them a lot of time, so it remains to be seen quite uh, how that race really panned out. It's a lovely day now, we had a nice race. Good moonshine as well, so lots of light to do the trimming. Lots of different elements to it. Um, nice bit of breeze, nothing over pan, not too much sea. Morgan Cup tested our kind of heavy weather performance with lots of uh, water coming over the boat and now we had the sort of light wind tactical decision. Fortunately, we only stopped for about what? 20 minutes tops with no boat speed. I really enjoyed it, it was a good experience. Essentially at the end of the day. I'm looking forward to doing it again really.